Russ Thaler and Chanda Rubin here with you all week, getting ready for the big showcase on Saturday, but also interviewing players like CeCe Bellis, who <laughs> joins us on set. CeCe coming off four surgeries, finally back on tour at the event in Houston earlier this fall. And first of all, welcome back to the tour. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> How are you physically right now? Because it has been a long time coming. <laughs> yeah, it's been a really long time. I'm finally, you know, all good and nothing hurts anymore. I've strengthened every part of my arm and everything's been feeling really good. Well, after almost two years of struggling with mm -hmm. the injuries, the surgeries, you played your, your first match. What was that like, getting onto court for the first time, playing under some pressure <laughs> um, in that type of situation? Yeah, no, it was definitely really tough. You know, just walking on court, I was so excited, but, you know, really nervous, too, because it been so long since the last time I'd done it. Um, and it was definitely super emotional for me, and I was just so excited to be back out there. Well, and you had some battles. I mean, you mm -hmm. had some three set matches you got through. What was the recovery like, and was the elbow, the wrist, was all that feeling good? Everything was feeling good. I had a couple, you know, little things by the end of the week, but um, everything was really good overall and a good start for me, for sure. And so now, as you look into 2020, you know, getting back, playing a full season, that's mm -hmm. the plan. You know, what are your ex expectations? What are you most looking forward to? I'm just looking forward to, you know, being back on tour, a normal schedule, playing, you know, week to week and not having to have breaks like this anymore. Um, yeah, no real expectations. I want to be healthy for the whole, you know, year and hopefully the rest of my career and, you know, just enjoy being back. I'm really excited. We're being joined on set by 20-year-old CeCe Vellis of the United States and making her comeback from four surgeries, elbow and wrist. But we're talking about a young woman who was the 2017 WTA Newcomer of the Year, former number 35 in the world in that season, 2017. Made a big splash in 2014, a first-round winner over Dominika Sivilkova at the U.S. Open that year. But you've been through so much between Miami 2018 and this time now. I read that you had said that if you didn't love tennis as much as you do, that you probably wouldn't be doing this because of all you've had to go through just to get back. How is that and why is that? Yeah, I mean, you know, I, like you said, I went through so much and there were so many downs and uh, painful times that I had to go through. And, you know, if I didn't love tennis so much, I probably wouldn't have done it and um, wouldn't be here today and playing again. So I'm, I'm really happy that I did, definitely. But it was tough for me at certain times, for sure. You really put out your whole story on, on Behind the Rack at mm -hmm. Noah Rubin's uh, website. What, what made you want to come out and tell your story in the way that you did? Um, nothing really. I never really shared anything of, you know, what I was doing, even, you know, rehab or fitness, because I just didn't want to be too open about it. I wanted it to be kind of, you know, more of a private thing. And I was talking to Noah one day and he uh, asked me to do an interview for his behind the racket. And I was just like, do you want me to tell the full story or <laughs> how did you want to do this? And he was like, yeah. So I just did it. It wasn't really planned or anything. Well, I'm just curious, with everything you've been through, you know, the new perspective that you've maybe, maybe gotten, you know, what were some of the most important things that you did or thought about to just stay positive, to get back to where you are today? Um, you know, like I said, loving tennis so much and wanting to be back uh, so much. And obviously, I have such a good support group around me, you know, with here, people here and uh, my family. So I think that's what really got me through. And in terms of the facility, mm -hmm. you've been living here now for a year and a half or so, training out here primarily. What's been so important about this facility? Oh, I'm like, <laughs> you couldn't want anything more, I think. In a tennis facility, you have every surface, you know, obviously besides grass, but we have, you know, indoor, red clay, mm -hmm. hard court. I mean, there's not much more you could ask for. We have the best fitness trainers, physios, so it's pretty great. CeCe Bellis, 20 years old, getting back into it now in 2020. It's so good to see you mobile with the elbow <laughs> and the you. wrist. And it's going to be so much fun to watch you out there on the court here at the showcase and moving forward. So thank you so much and thank best so of luck much. in 2020. So That's CeCe Bellis. Looking forward to watching CeCe and all the American players. So we have the American Tennis Showcase coming up Saturday at 5 p.m. Eastern here on Tennis Channel.